so sleepy. Alright. That one kind of threw me off a little bit. Was not expecting to drop there, but you know what? Game says no, we're, we're, we're dropping you. Drop me not, forget about it. We're dropping you now. <laughs> What's the crack? Lads and ladies around the world. My name is DV Geek, and yes, Riku's asleep right now. I've been forced to drop. And we are finally back with Dream Drop Distance. We are going to be finishing, and I mean it this time, finishing this game today. So if that gets you excited, then absolutely drop kick that like button and subscribe to continue the Kingdom Hearts journey as we celebrate 20 years of this extraordinary franchise. Here we go. Oh. Okay, hang on. Huh? Am I back? Alright, we're Sora now. Wait! Your Majesty! Donald! Goofy! Huh? We can't hear him. But he can see them. Huh? Whoa! He's wearing his Kingdom Hearts 2 clothes! Nominee! Nominee, is that you? Wait! Nominee! I've got a message for you. I meant to tell you once this was all over. Ah! Huh? She on! You. Oh. 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 Why am I? You're not. Well, hey, wait. But no, somebody no, no. inside you is. Oh. Okay, was not expecting to get hit with this so soon. Poor Sora, he's so confused. Mentally, emotionally. Oh my god, dude. What the freak? Are we actually wearing our thing? Oh, come on! Why would you tease me with the Kingdom Hearts 2 clothes and you don't he's not wearing them? <laughs> Damn it, Torkfu! This is your fault! <laughs> Alright, let's do this! Hi yeah! I'm ready for this. I'm ready for this. Ah! Ah! What is going on with this place? Whoa! Jeez, that launches us near. Oh, damn. Get that T-Rex. Meow out! Let's go, Blue! Boink! 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 Feel the power of Lucas's belly! We're too powerful! And Balloonra! Whoa, home missiles, what the frick? Valley Raid! Oh, let's go, p -Tech. Let's go! Yeah! All that cake is paying off, P! Let's go! So we need to get closer and closer to there. I have no idea what just happened there. That was crazy. This level's nuts. We're getting some grinding in anyway in the process because it's going to be needed. I know that for a fact. I need to equip more cures as well because it's getting very dicey here. 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Blucas! Blucas! Yeah. Blucas, where is he? Blucas! Blucas, where is he? Blucas! No! You assholes! That was my blow! Blue! Blue guys! Blue guys! He turned into a rampant fantasy. This is your fault! Yes. Your fault! It's all your fault! Yes, take this. Yes. How dare you! Yes. How yes. dare you! Yes. That was for Blue! I'm genuinely very sad. <laughs> My boy Blue! I actually, I'm actually, it's not, it's weird. I know it's a game and all, but I genuinely feel hurt. <laughs> I lost Blue. I didn't realize Blue was in, it was in need of help. I was too busy in the midst of combat. He was up there on the skyscraper and he needed my help and I wasn't there. <clears throat> Come on, wait up. Who are you? Oh shit. Roxas, how can you be here? Am I dreaming? Come on, say something. This could have been the other way around. Huh? But it really has to be you. What do you mean? There are so many hearts that are connected to yours. You're me, so you can feel what I felt. No. Roxas, you're you. We're not the same. I wanted to tell you that. That you deserve as much as I do to be your own person. Uh, uh, Sora, see? That's why it has to be you. Oh. Huh? oh, look, the memories. Everything Roxas has been through is showing him. Roxas' entire life. all this pain what do you want me to see Oh my god, dude. This game is going to seriously get me, isn't it? I don't know why I used that many, but just in case. I still can't get over it, man. We lost Blue Kiss! Blue! Oh shit. No, you freaking don't! Neither do you! Oh dear. Oh, I'm stuck! God, there's a lot of big enemies here. Okay, it's like that, yeah? 
Let's scoot it. Let's do this. T Tech and Burn Frog. We have to do something important here. Jeez, this, this Moogle says a lot of shit. I wanted water barrels. Unless there's any here. Balloon. Oh, there it is. There it is. I found it. Give me all the water barrels. Give me 20 water barrels. No, maybe not 20. <laughs> Give me 15 water barrels. Rampant fantasy. Let's see. I have a rampant fantasy. I have three of those. What's the next one? Malleable fantasy. All right. So I'm being told that malleable fantasy is an easy one to get. So we'll quick save it here. We're going to make a quick detour. Quick detour and we're coming back here. I just wanted to ride the Ferris wheel, that's all. Is that okay? I have some healing to do. I lost blue. And I just want to be happy now. I just want to be happy on my Ferris wheel. I got it. A rampant fat no, a rampant fantasy. And a malleable fantasy. Give all you have. Can I give him more? I'll give him everything. Everything I got! Has he come back to me? Has he come back to me? He's come back as a king! King Blucus is born! He's back! My boy's back! There he is! My little boy Blue! He's not a little boy anymore, he's a king! He's King Blue! Look at him! He's back! <laughs> he's back! <laughs> there he is! Oh my god, look at him! Now he's blue! Look at him! He's blue now! <laughs> oh, that's cool! <laughs> P-Tech doesn't be in the way. I'll make you look like an actual penguin now, P-Tech. No! <laughs> I just made you blue! Here, a little bit extra blue. A little bit brighter. A brighter blue. There you go! Look at him! 479, okay. Oh, he's got a lot. What can he? What can he unlock? Second chance. Okay. What else? Magic boost up here is the most on this side. This is probably a massive defense boost. <sighs> Which way do we go? Oh, it's Casclaw. Jesus. <laughs> I haven't done anything for Escasclo. Oh, this gives me a second chance as well. Boy, it's... I need to do Spirit Link to Escasclo more times. Okay, we'll save it then because it's 200. So make sure we have 200 left over so we can get another second chance. Now anyway, all we need is get that and we're sorted. Now, I'm ready. Riku! Kairi! I found you! Huh? <gasps> Who? Then. Then. Huh? Oh my... Huh? <laughs> Holy shit, they really did that. They really what did that. What is going on? Uh, uh, uh. 
Oh man. Do you ever have some one of those dreams where it's like you're running? You're trying to run but you can't move? Oh, man. What? Oh, come on, anybody Whoopsie else! Daisy. It wasn't easy putting you into a second sleep, and he almost woke you up. So then, all that stuff I just saw, did you put that in my head? No, that wasn't stuff. It was a dream. The falling asleep part was definitely our bad. But we can't put stuff in your head. Hey. I got an idea. Ask your heart. See if it's got a clue. Well, my heart was aching. That's why I kept going. Oh, thank you, Sora's heart, for pushing him right into our clutches. Aren't hearts great? Steer us wrong every time. You know, right? Because you all have hearts. Axel. And Roxas, and Namine, and that other girl. I felt what Roxas felt. Other girl. And they Damn. laughed together, got mad, and they grieved. You have to have a heart to cry. <laughs> it's about time you noticed. Indeed. Here we go. A heart is never lost for good. There may have been variances in our dispositions, but a number of us unquestionably showed signs of a burgeoning replacement. <gasps> Once born, the heart can also be nurtured. Our experiments creating Heartless were attempts to control the mind and convince it to renounce its sense of self. But understand, one can banish the heart from the body, but the body will try to replace it the first chance it gets, for as many times as it takes. And so I knew, even after we were divided into heartless and nobodies, it was just a temporary separation. Why then? Why did you lie to them and tell them they had no hearts? Xemnas and Xehanort formed the organization for a specific reason. Round up a bunch of empty husks, hook them up to Kingdom Hearts, then fill them all with the exact same heart and mind. Translation? They were gonna turn all the members into Xehanort. Make more Xehanorts? Oh, come on. You tricked your friends to... We don't need more Xehanorts. But you... Aren't you scared of just turning into someone else? Me? I'm already half Xehanort. That's nuts. What? However, what are you talking about? Through weakness of body. What are you what are you even talking about? Weakness of will. Or weakness of trust. Most of the original members we had chosen for the organization 
were inadequate. Thus, naturally, they never had a chance to attain their goal. Yet, even this was to be expected. <laughs> we have learned of the heart's folly, and we have achieved our other goals. This last excursion has proven to be a worthy closing assignment for the organization. Just stop it! You treat people's hearts like bottles on a shelf, but they're not! Hearts are made of the people we meet, and how we feel about them. They're what ties us together even when we're apart. They're what make me strong. Hmm. Duh. <laughs> You're strong because of the ties you have with other people. As if the Keyblade would choose a wimp like you. Keyblade did, bitch. No we see much bigger and better things in your future. Once you side with us. Shut up, Dick Barnort. That's your new name, Dick Barnort. Because apparently you're half Xehanort as well. I know the Keyblade didn't choose me. And I don't care. I'm proud to be a small part of something bigger. The people it did choose. <gasps> My friends, they are my power! Oh, holy shit! Those are just words. What? You, you've lost. What an <sighs> epic shot! Fine. See where your power gets you here. Xemnas, he's all yours! Oh. Here? We go! Let's get some hype in the chart right now! Xemnas versus Sora and friends! Let's get a blue! Let's go, Blue! King Blue! Whoa, what the hell is going on? Okay. Just make it too easy. I know you think you've won, but you lost the moment you dived this far in. You're in the deepest pit of slumber, and you've worn yourself down to nothing. There's no returning to the world above. What do you mean? We told you. It was not the sleeping keyholes that guided you. They are not the reason you are here. You've been on a path, one we laid out for you. That sigil on your chest is the proof. 
What? See, that sigil, the X. It tells us where you are at all times. Are you just making this shit up as you, you go along? Loud before, why we kept showing up where you were? I thought they were just belt straps. It's because we need you, Sora. Or, to be more precise, we need what will be left of you. The thirteenth dark vessel. Why, I. Why was it assured you would come here today? Because I followed my destined path, and I'm here looking at you right now. You can move through time, but time itself is immovable. Today, all of my selves throughout time were meant to gather here and to welcome you, Sora. As our 13th member. What the hell? These facts cannot be changed. What's gonna happen? Sora, don't! I have now told you all that I know. We are all here. And what the future holds in store is beyond my sight. I will return to my own time. And grow into the man who becomes all these others. While I know this future now that I have lived it, returning to my own time will erase the memories and experiences I have gained here. Still, my appointed path is now etched in my heart, which will first lead me to seek the outside world. Riku. Your heart will sleep forever in the folds of darkness, and your body will be another vessel for me. So light gives way to darkness. Good night, Sora. What in the holy hell? All right. Okay. Let's continue. I, I I need some time to process all of that information. I mean, like, that was a lot, dude. I need to think about that. So Xehanort has been traveling to through different timelines. And once multiple Xehanorts... What the hell? What the hell, dude? End of the road, huh? I know I'm back in the real world, but I still have my Dream Eater powers. Which means he still hasn't woken up. Where are you, Sora? Huh? Uh. What? A 
dream eater. B is that where Sora is? Blue? How do I get across? Keys? Oh. Blue, what are you doing up there? Where's your crown? Right. I get it. <laughs> right. Yeah. Whoa! Wait a minute. Oh. I feel like there could have been a chest there. Huh? Sora! Oh my god. Young Xehanort is... Starting to be a Hands thorn my in my vessel. side. Uh, vessel? Yes. We originally had our sights set on you. But you developed a certain resistance to darkness. So we did what the Keyblade did and moved down the list. Uh, Roxas. Uh, now there was a worthy candidate. But unfortunately, he became too aware of himself and returned to Sora. Organization 13's true goal is to divide Xehanort's heart among 13 vessels. Thanks to you and Sora, we learned not all our candidates were fit for the task, but we managed to make up the difference. And now, Sora, the 13th vessel, is within our grasp. Thirteen? Xehanorts? I know, Riku. Like, seriously, one is enough as it is. Oh, shit. Here's twelve of them. The real Organization Thirteen. The Organization? I am Xehanort from the most distant past. My future self gave me a task. To visit the splintered versions of myself in many worlds and ensure they gathered here today. Your future self From came to you. There are restrictions to movement through time. First, you must leave your body behind to do it. Then there must be a version of you waiting at the destination. Upon arrival, you can only move forward as per the laws of time. And you cannot rewrite the events that are destined to happen. What have you done? My most future self will arrive soon. Then time for all of us will return to normal. And I will go back to my era to live the life fate has in store. He can vouch for that. Whoa! Mickey! I'm glad I'm not too late. Mickey! Just grab Sora so we can go. I can't stop them for long. Okay. <laughs> Mickey! Shit! <gasps> this is getting crazy, I dude. Said hands off. How can you be moving? Oh, no. Here we go. Riku versus you? young Xehanort. Alright, another boss fight. Shite. What's this about? Oh my god, I keyblade so sick. Mine's cooler. It's a little bit more flamboyant, but it's 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 cooler. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
I can't move. I can't move. I'm super slow. I'm super slow. I'm super slow. Heal, heal, heal. We're good, we're good. What's happening? God damn it! You shall wander forever. Uh oh, I missed that. Messed that up, didn't I? Did I mess that up? Fuck it. Shit. Alright, I'm another chance. I'm another chance at this. Another chance at this. Come on. How come they're not connecting together? They're not connecting together. Come on. Got it. Now what? Now what? What's going on? Luna? Oh, he's got more health? What the fuck? What is happening right now, dude? Get close to it. Hey, get back! Blue Rush! Yeah! Did we do it? Are you okay, Riku? Did we do it? Yes, yeah. we did it! Thanks, Mickey. Yes, we did it! First try again! Do I see the Xehanort from Birth by Sleep? you no he's there all of this was decided my 12 selves would welcome me here on this day when i would return a complete person it is the future which lies beyond my sight why are you doing this in ancient times, people believed that light was a gift from an unseen land by the name of Kingdom Hearts. But Kingdom Hearts was safeguarded by its counterpart, the Keyblade. Warriors vied for that precious light, thus beginning the Keyblade War. Here he goes again. The violent clash shattered the Keyblade. 
into 20. He really is like an old man talking about the war all the time. Light and 13 of darkness. And the only real Kingdom Hearts was swallowed by the darkness, never to surface again. I once tried to create my own pure light and darkness to forge the Keyblade. But the attempt ended in failure. In my eagerness, I had lost sight of the correct way to achieve my goal. I acted rashly. I can admit that now. What you did back then, your mistakes, changed the destinies of three of my friends. Ah, but destiny is never left to chance. I merely guided them to their proper places. The broken boy who failed to be the blade. The misguided master who sacrificed herself for a friend. And the feckless youth who became my new vessel. The feckless youth? I couldn't find a way to save them. But I wanted to believe that their sacrifice stopped you for good. Why? How was I so blind? I should have seen it as soon as Maleficent started gathering the seven princesses of heart. Yes. They were all my doing. I used the evil fairy to find seven pure lights for me. Just as I prepared 13 vessels to fill with pure darkness. But you failed. Sora stopped you in your tracks on both counts. Yes, he did. That dull, ordinary boy. A Keyblade wielder so unlike any I have ever seen. However, I have not abandoned my ambitions. The Seven Guardians of Light and the Thirteen Seekers of Darkness. Seven Guardians of Light? Well, for Keyblade wielders, there's me and Riku and Sora. And my three missing friends, that's six. Then the seventh would be... Oh, that means the Thirteen Seekers of Darkness. Yes, little king. Perceptive. But Sora and another on your list belong to me now. And that puts you three guardians short. But worry not. All of the pieces are destined to appear. Your seven lights, just like my thirteen darknesses, whose final clash will beget the prize I seek. The, the Keyblade! Keyblade. First, the thirteen darknesses shall be united. All the seats have been filled. And now, the last vessel shall bear my heart like the rest. Sora. Oh, no! Sora! Oh, come on, dude. This isn't even a fair fight. <laughs> Sora! What? You. Who? Lee! Axel! Axel, please. The name's Lee. Got it memorized. Have you? You're supposed to be here. Have you? Promises to keep. I'll always be there to get my friends back. What? Bad timing. Oh my God! I've got goosebumps. Script, but you kind of forgot to write the sequel. Now let's find out what happens. Yeah. What now, you old coot? 
Our time is up! Oh! Isa. Isa's a Saiyan orc too? No! Oh! Why are you here, Axel? No, I told you my name's... Whatever. Axel. Fine. Now let's get out of here. Right! Oh my god, dude! This is so hype, man! Everything we've been through! A legacy of characters! I think so! Goofy, Donald, you saved us! We are out of time. Neither the union of light nor darkness has been achieved. We must all return whence we came. But, the gathering of the Seven and Thirteen is nigh. Let us finish this at the fated place, once your lights and my darknesses have joined together. This is ridiculous, bro. It's just ridiculous. It's... Absolutely insane! What the hell? Seven lights, thirteen darknesses. Master Xehanort has been busy. Ah. Oh. Ah, Sora. Don't tell me your heart's sleeping too. No, Mickey. This affliction is not the same. Can we do anything for him? Ah. Yeah. In your Mark of Mastery exam, you were to unlock seven sleeping keyholes. By doing so, you would awaken those worlds from their prison of slumber, and also acquire the power to free a heart from its sleep. Riku, you unlocked those keyholes within Sora's dreams. Therefore, it stands to reason that you now have the power to awaken Sora's heart. You want him to dive back into Sora's sleep? But, Master, Sora's heart is down in the darkest abyss. If Riku's not careful, he might just get trapped down there with him. No, I'll go instead. And perhaps you may even succeed, Mickey. But there is no denying Riku stands the better chance, having dived into Sora's heart as long as he has. Hmm. Huh? Oh. <sighs> Mickey, I really appreciate it, but I'll go wake Sora up. Riku! Look at his face, sleeping like nothing's wrong, like there's nothing to even worry about. He's always been like that. The three of us would agree to work on the raft. And then this guy would go take a nap on the beach. You see, it's my job to keep him on his toes. Besides, what kind of Keyblade Master sleeps through his test? I'm doing it for me too. Sora saved me once. And... I heard him call my name. He needs me. 
Hmm. There's something real strong that binds us to each other. Even in the darkness, you can reach him. All you gotta do is follow that connection. Gee, we're all connected to Sora. Yes, it. And if the darkness gets you, I promise I'll bail you out. Dark Rescue's my middle name. Oh, will you make up your mind? What's your name? <laughs> Guys, thank you. Sora and I will be back soon. One last dive. Here we go. Tag. 30 Sora's. Okay. I, I, I see a Sora here. Do we... Do we... Oh my god! What the hell? That Sora's dark form? Anti form? Get away from me, you! I need to get all the Sora's. I'm just over halfway now. Get away from me. Three more, three more. Got him. <laughs> All right. We're in darkness within darkness. This abyss. Am I in Sora's dream? <laughs> what? What? What is that? This armored Ventus nightmare. What is going on now? Finish it! Finish it! There he is. Look at that Black Kingdom key. 
Get him. No, don't play sad music. Get him. I'll find you, Sora. <gasps> He's got the kingdom key. Look where we are. We always seem to come back here, don't we? Huh? Roxas? What is it that you're so afraid of? Huh? Getting trapped in darkness, causing someone to be hurt, losing something that's important. Losing something that's important. Losing something that's important. Roxas? No, it's it's Ventus. No. Wait. What is the one thing you care about more than anything else? Huh? Hmm. The heart's connected by light, my close friends, or the strength to protect others. My close friends. My close friends. What is going on? Sora! It's not Sora! That's Shion! That's the other girl! Huh? Who are you? Riku, yeah. what do you wish? More questions. All right. I wish. Protect my friends. To recover something important. Or to heal the pain from the past. To recover something important. To recover something important that I lost. Message in the bottle. What's this? You were not the visitor I expected. Ansem? Diz. Diz. I mean, Ansem the Wise. Ansem the Wise. What are you doing here? Perhaps I wanted to atone for events of the past, even if no apology can undo the harm I have wrought. I felt that I ought to leave at least something behind. So I digitized myself and my research and hid them within Sora. So this is data? Yes. Of course it is. Data in a bottle. A clue, I hope. To finding yourselves or your lost friends in your hour of need. The heart has always been quick to grow. Each exposure to light, to the natural world, to other people, 
shapes this most malleable part inside of us. Nobodies are not different from us in that manner. Sora was the only one able to return to his human form without destroying his nobody. That is a statement to the love in his heart for other people and the bonds that tie them together. Perhaps he has the power to bring back the hearts and existences of those connected to him. To recreate people we thought were lost to us forever. Our most precious treasures. Even an empty puppet. The trees of the forest. And the petals on the wind. There are hearts around us everywhere we look. And it does not take superhuman powers to see them. Surely we remember, as children, the way our hearts made everything seem so shiny and perfect. Sora has a heart like that, uncorrupted, willing to see the good before the bad. When he sees the heart in something, it then becomes real. When a connection seems broken, he may have the power to mend it. He has touched countless hearts. He has accepted them. And he has saved them. And some of those hearts have never left him. Whether they fell into darkness or were trapped there. Whether they sleep in the darkness of Sora's heart. Or were welcomed into its warmth. They can be saved. All Sora needs to do is be himself and follow wherever it is that his heart takes him. It is the best and the only way. The rest is in there. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Of course. Now, why is it that you are here? Uh, uh, I kind of need to wake Sora up. Don't tell me he's gone to sleep again. <laughs> yeah. What'll I do with him? What, indeed? <laughs> <laughs> Never fear. Sora is safe. Huh? He's not here. You see, by defeating the Nightmare imprisoning Sora, you freed him. Uh, you mean, the Sora wrapped in that Black Phantom? Then, you came here, and you were questioned by three young people. That was the final key to awaken him. Sora is awake. He's awake! You can go home now. Really? Thank you. Young man. I do not believe you ever told me your name. <sighs> Sephiroth. It's Riku. Riku, excuse me, sorry. Hey Lee, Axel, Sora. Axel Saver, whatever your name is. Hey Donald, come on, you're he's awake. Ah, oh, down, 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 down. King, yummy. of course it sure is yummy. Cockamilish. Hey, we wearing there, Sora? Riku, you're safe, Riku. <laughs> uh, 
Wait, haven't we got this backwards? And why are you having a tea party? You're safe, Riku! It's your own birthday! Oh, never mind. You okay? Feeling alright? Yeah. I've never been better. I was watching what was going on in my dream. And I could hear your voice the whole time. Thanks, Riku. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did we pass the test? No, you failed miserably. <laughs> Imagine. You performed truly admirably, both of you. <laughs> so are the, the Keyblade Masters now? Eat cake. Where, where's cake? <clears throat> More than anything, I am grateful to have you both back from Xehanort's deception unharmed. And I am grateful to Lee, whose spontaneous actions turn the tides. I am also deeply sorry for failing to perceive the danger and throwing you headlong into a perilous test. This experience has revealed many hidden truths, and we must gird ourselves for the great clash with darkness that lies before us. I believe we need a new Keyblade Master, one with a new kind of power. Sora and Riku, you both deserve the honor. However, one of you braved the realm of sleep again to unlock the final keyhole and save a friend. Riku, I name you our new true Keyblade Master. Uh, what about Sora, like? <laughs> Way to go, Riku! <laughs> Yeah? <laughs> I knew you were gonna pass with flying colors. This is just so awesome. Gee, Sora, you're kinda acting like it's you that passed. <laughs> I told you so I was trying to make some practice. Hey! <laughs> really? At least Goopy said it. I'm a Keyblade Master? Congratulations, Riku! Thank you, Mickey. I owe it to my friends. <laughs> I'll catch up with you in no time flat. What? You want to be a Keyblade Master? Yeah. I mean, I came here to learn how to wield one. No you? way! Hey, thanks for the vote of confidence. You know I was going to come swooping in, Keyblade in hand. What? But I just couldn't get mine to materialize. Oh my god. It must be in the snap of the wrist or something. Oh. Oh! Uh, wow. uh, what? <laughs> what? Do you have to go? Well, I did doze off. I just have some stuff to take care of. I want to be our okay? Yeah, I won't be long. Lee's gonna be a Keyblade Master? Oh my god. Holy shit. Whoa, my god, dude. Dream Drop Distance's endgame is like... On a, a totally different level from the rest of the game. Like, it's actually kind of ridiculous. I, I don't even know what to say right now. <laughs> I just... I am in like... I'm in awe right now, man. They released this game on a completely different platform, dude. And I'm like, why did they do that? And there's nothing, nothing wrong with being on a different platform, but... I just think there would have been a whole lot more people that would have... Played this. If it was on the same platform. Like, obviously I'm playing it on a PS5, but I, I can only imagine how you guys played it. Like, some of the bosses in this are really difficult. Like, really difficult. I just... Look at that picture! Dude, the final stages of this was... 
just on like it was just god tier like i'm i'm just like i'm trying to every time i finish every time i finish kingdom hearts game i'm like processing the final moments of the game you know oh my god everything that's happened in this is like huge it's not even like a subtle thing what annoys me about it is you literally can't you can't skip this game if you skip dream drop distance you are going to be so lost like there's no point of even playing the rest of the games that's just absolutely bonkers to me man it's <laughs> abs absolutely bonkers to me <laughs> you're like yeah. Anybody that critiques Kingdom Hearts lore and story because they played the only games they played was like Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, and 3 I have no clue what they're talking about. <laughs> because there's like this had so much story it's it's crazy. Like so much major plot development was in this game. Like what the hell? This game literally connected everything together. Alright, so I'm being told that I need to collect gold letters. Wait, there's no gold letters there. I can slow down, right? Oh. Namura. These credits are so cool. I don't want to miss the golden letter, though. All right. I'm kind of nervous. I don't want to miss anything. Mod team, get me strict instructions. Is that all of them? Is there more? There's more. D. Well, what else is there? Like, well, what even is that word? What is this? Wait, 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 wait. Secret message unlocked. Is that what this Oh my god, now I'm I'm even more stressed. That is what it's gonna spell, isn't it? I can't muck this up. I cannot mess this up. Two more letters, two more letters. One more letter, one more letter. Give me that O, give me that O. Oh! In kingdom! Oh! This. All right. One. E. A. Oh, it's blue kids and talk food. D. Dude, I can't believe Lee. 
or Axel, whatever you want to call him, is one is going is going to be a Keyblade wielder, or is one. I can't believe how much lore this game drops on you. It's it's unbelievable, dude. Look at them all. Look at all the Xehanorts. <laughs> I wonder who the other Xehanorts are. The Xehanort boy band. Look! It's Roxas and the other girl. Oh man, Birth by Sleep is gonna be is definitely one of my favorites, man. got the secret message in the form of a letter. Oh? Uh-oh. Uh, uh. Hype in the chat? Uh, uh. Good. I was hoping this world was still here. I wasn't. <laughs> mm. I know. I love Travis Town. But where are they? Nobody here. Where's everybody? Oh, there. Blue. Oh, blue. <laughs> and talk foo. Uh -huh. <gasps> hey, it's a kitty cat. Team's here, and you brought you brought the DB community with you. D Rex, you're the best. D Rex came back. Oh. <laughs> Castle Oblivion. Oh my God, are we gonna see Ventus? Oh shit. Did we wake up Ventus too? Dude, if he opens his eyes, he's gonna fucking freak out. Oh, he smiled though. No, oh, even Blue's in the picture. Blue and Keys are in the picture. Critical mode unlocked. Oh my god. You can choose the ultra hard difficulty next time you start a new game. Oh yeah! Now you can carry your spirits over. Choose new game and you can select save data to bring those spirits along. Oh, it's new game plus basically, except critical. Okay. You have unlocked secret movie. Visit Mementos Theater. Check it out. Is this it? The darkness awakes. This world is just too small. The light in the darkness. Aqua. Aqua. Leads to the last key. Get some hype in the chat right now. Spam it. Sora's late. Do you think he's okay? Uh, gorge. Lee sure hurried back to Radiant Garden. And now Master Yen Sid sending Riku away too on some mystery errand. What? 
You think we'll ever get to do something important? Huh? Hmm? Oh, welcome back, Riku. Hey, wait. Ah! Whoa, oh. What? What? Uh, come on, what are you looking at? The Keyblade Wars of yore plunged to the true Kingdom Hearts into darkness. And the Keyblade was shattered. But the light still shining in the hearts of children rebuilt the world that we know today. And the light from the broken Keyblade was then divided into seven to protect the number of pure hearts in the world. Seven pure lights? They're the princesses of heart. Indeed. Those seven pure hearts form the very source of all light in the world. If they are lost, the world will again give way to shadow. Thus, even if we deliberately avoid finding our seven lights to avert another Keyblade War, Xehanort will still target the seven princesses in order to forge the Keyblade. So, there's gonna be a clash between seven lights and thirteen darknesses? And there's nothing we can do to avoid triggering the Keyblade War? To protect the seven pure hearts, we will need seven lights strong enough to stand against the thirteen darknesses. So we're missing one Guardian of Light. Riku! You're back! That's right. Master Yen Sid. I brought you the guest you asked for. But uh. You never said why. Who? Huh? Wow! I have come to learn that you too can wield a Keyblade. I am glad you are here. Oh. Of course it's Kyrie. The past will be reawakened as a new number in never before seen detail. Prepare yourself for the awakening of the next number. Prepare yourself for the awakening of the next number. Is that referring to Kingdom Hearts 3? Basically? It's a tease for the HD collection. Never before seen detail. Really? Is that what it was? Wow. So the HD remake. They they put that in there to say, look, there's a HD remake coming out. That should fill the void for the seven years you have to wait before we drop Kingdom Hearts 3. That should do it, shouldn't it? <laughs> and so Burn Frog said, now imagine waiting seven whole years for Kingdom Hearts 3. I was so worried when I started Dream Drop Distance. I was genuinely concerned because I thought this was a game I wouldn't have been able to play. I thought this was going to be a game where I may have to skip. But I didn't. I decided against it because I know that so many people have reached out to me throughout my Kingdom Hearts journey telling me that Dream Drop Distance is one of their favorites. And I wanted to... I wanted to understand why. I wanted to see why that was the case. And I didn't want to just react to cinematics because I feel like it, that gets rid of a lot of the experience of what Dream Drop Distance truly is. The essence of the Dream Eaters. The essence of flow motion, the essence of being in a dream. Dream Drop Distance is by far not my favorite game. Now, I'm not saying that, it's not. That's between Burp by Sleep and Kingdom Hearts 2. I think Kingdom Hearts 2 still holds the trophy for my favorite Kingdom Hearts experience. But Dream Drop Distance is probably the most unique and the most satisfying. When are we ever going to see all of these guys together? When are we going to see the connection? When are we going to connect the dots? Dream Drop Distance done that. It connected so many dots. It connected so many characters, so many worlds, so many hearts, the darkness and the light. The Xehanorts, how everything came to be, and how everything was connected from the beginning to now. 
And that is so special. It adds so much more lore and depth to characters. Without Dream Drop Distance, you are missing a substantial amount of what it means to be Kingdom Hearts. A substantial amount. And I'm so happy that I stuck to it to the end. I stuck to it until I beat it. But anyway, boys and girls, lads and ladies around the world, I am going to end today's stream and today's episode of Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. I hope you all enjoyed this Kingdom Hearts journey with me. If you did, hit that like button here on YouTube and of course subscribe to the channel right now because there are more episodes on the way and you don't want to miss a beat. Anyway, that's it for me. Thank you for watching and as always, stay geeky, stay cool, be awesome and be happy and I'll see you dudes in my next Kingdom Hearts video. See you later, dudes.